welcome to vlog number three. As you can tell, these are not weekly. I seem to be doing like one week vlogging, one week off. You didn't miss much last week. Um, I made two wedding cakes, which we delivered pretty locally. And I also dropped that cake off that was for the shoot. If you watched the last vlog, vlog number two, um, I made a dummy cake for a cake shoot. I have still yet to collect that. That's been at the venue since last week and I just haven't had a minute to go and collect it. So as you know, Tuesdays is baking day, so that's what I've been doing this morning. I have baked two vanilla cakes, two chocolate cakes, and I've got another vanilla cake to make. I have got three cakes this week. One is a Friday morning collection, so I baked that yesterday and I'm ganaching it today. That is a carousel cake, so it's like red, white, blue and gold theme. And then I've got two more collections, which I think are Friday night, possibly Saturday morning. Um, one is the Grocery Gang slash Fungus Among Us, if you've never heard of those. You know those little tiny Shopkins? They're like bits of makeup or food with little faces on and you collect them. My daughter's got loads of them. You'll just be walking around the house, nearly cripple yourself, look down to find a little apple smiling at you after it's just put a big dent in your foot. So they're a bit like Shopkins in the little tiny figures that you collect but Fungus Among Us I think are like little slimy creatures and Grocery Gang are just like Shopkins, they're like little food items but mouldy and stuff you find in the bin. This one's for a repeat customer who um, always gets her little boy's cakes. He has had Nightmare Before Christmas, he's had Minion Dracula, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles so now he's having Fungus Among Us slash Grocery Gang. The third cake is um, what I call a more personal one, which means it just makes sense to the person who's ordered it and not much to anybody else. So this is like a mountain or like a cliff face with a girl stood on the top, topless, with her dog and some American, like an American flag. So it doesn't mean much to anybody else, but it will to the birthday girl. I am also a bit behind with my editing videos for YouTube for like the tutorials that go up every Tuesday. So this will be Monday when you watch this. So tomorrow's tutorial, I think, will be the Zelda cake. I have still yet to finish editing that. I'm behind with at least another three tutorials to do. Um, but somebody mentioned in the last vlog a podcast to listen to. So I did some editing last night and I listened to the podcast whilst I was editing. It's called... Um, Sword and Scale and it's a true crime podcast. I mentioned I like the true crime docs on Netflix such as like The Staircase and The Keepers. So she suggested this and it's actually really good because when there's something on the TV I have to watch it. I can't take my eyes off the telly just in case I miss anything. I have to be fully engrossed in what I'm watching. Whereas a podcast obviously it doesn't have images on the TV. You just have to listen to it. So I'm able to sit and edit and just concentrate on what I'm editing and that's just playing in the background that I can listen to. So I've listened to three episodes so far um, but there's loads, there's 117 episodes I think so far just in case anybody's interested in that. But right now it's 11 o'clock and I need to start on that carousel cake. <music> So I've just had a parcel delivery, um, it is my very first order from cakestuff.com. Um, I'm a bit of a creature of habit, I tend to order from the same place, I've been ordering from a trade place for years and years and years, ever since I've been making cakes. Um, unfortunately over the last like six months the boxes were arriving with lots of stuff missing or usually when I'd order it would arrive in two to three days and it would take in five to seven days. And because I wasn't used to waiting so long for, for the stuff, I was running out of things. Once I had a full box of icing, um, my Renshaw's white that I usually use, the entire box got shipped to somebody else and I received a full box of marzipan instead. So I received his order, 
and he received my order. Um, and instead of like the company sending out my icing so I could use it, I actually had to wait for them to go and collect it from him to then give it to me. And I thought that was a bit rough because then I had to go out um, and buy some last minute icing which were costing me like £4 a packet instead of my usual trade price. Um, so it, I, I needed to start looking somewhere else really because six months of stuff missing from boxes and things arriving late, it just wasn't good. So I decided to give cakestuff.com a try because I've heard very good things. Don't get too excited, it's literally just the bare minimum stuff that I always buy, like boards and icing. There's no exciting sprinkle mixes, there's no exciting moulds or cutters, but we'll just open the box and see what we've got. So we've got four big boxes. One of them's in the uh, Cake Stuff box, that's their website down there, it's upside down. Cakestuff.com. So let's open up and see what we've got. This one we've got Renshaw's coloured icing. I always buy pre-coloured icing. It is just far easier, quicker to buy pre-coloured than rather colouring it yourself. Well, it's certainly well packaged. <laughs> so lots more coloured icing in there. We've got some fuchsia, red, green. And this is stuff that I haven't tried yet. I have ordered a packet of cake stuff own sugar paste called Couture sugar paste in white. A lot of people rave about this. Um, I usually use Renshaw's and I've been using Renshaw's ever since I started making cakes and I've been making cakes since I was 13 um, and I'm 30 now. Um, I did used to use like the, sh the supermarket brand right at the beginning when I couldn't afford to buy proper sugar paste but Renshaw's is just something I've used by default so I've been used to the texture of it and it ripping and things like that but lately it's ripping more and more I don't know whether it's the weather I've, I've done cake decorating through lots of different summers lots of different humid conditions um, and I'm just fine I'm just fine I'm struggling with it more and more so I thought I'd try a new one so I will try this out um, and let you know how that goes we've also got some Atlantic Blue now this um, Renshaw's Atlantic Blue this one does rip no matter how you cover your cake just from years of experience, Atlantic blue just rips, even if you add it to white to make a lighter blue, it just tend to, tends to rip a lot easier. And we got some cake drums too. This one is full of cake drums in all different sizes, 11 inch, 6 inch, and this might be my invoice at the bottom there. So I'm guessing this last box is my usual um, Renshaw's icing. A box and a box. Right, now this is new to me. Um, the Renshaw's I usually buy come in one kilo. One kilo packets. Um, and I buy ten packets in a box. So it's like, so it's ten kilos but in one kilo packets. I usually only need one kilo to cover a cake um, so I just use one packet and the rest are all still fastened up so that they don't dry out but cake stuff um, they don't sell the 10 kilos in one kilo packets they just sell them in the 2.5 kilo blocks or larger you can buy the kilo packets on their own but to buy 10 of those it's actually dearer so I'm not sure if this is going to dry out before I use the entire packet but we shall see. So this is my usual stuff, it's called um, decor ice ready to roll not the cover paste, there's a Renshaw's covering paste and um, that to me is a bit like the supermarket stuff, it's very soft and rips very easily. This is kind of the in between, the decor ice. And then the other Renshaw's that they've brought out is called Renshaw's Extra, which is a lot tougher. It's a bit, I would say like Karma Massa, but it's not as good. But it is a very tough icing like that. I can tell already between these two packets, the Renshaw's is quite soft and squishy. And the Couture is still squishy, but it's a lot harder to squish. Hopefully this will be better in warmer weather. Yes, guys, every single item accounted for. Awesome. So from my first order, I can highly recommend it. Also gets delivered by DPD. 
I'm not sure if that makes a difference to you, but I've had several couriers um, from Tufnels and Parcel Force, and that's when a lot of my boxes go missing. Just in the middle of painting this carousel, I've got to paint all the rest of the edge in gold. Um, obviously, to put the name and the age on. This is for a 60th birthday um, blue, red, white, and gold carousel. Um, but I have to put 21 again on it. <laughs> uh, there's nothing wrong with being 60. But this one isn't too far off being finished. And it is, what day is it? It's Wednesday. So this one's being collected on Friday morning. So I'm good and ahead with this one. But I do have these to do. Um, this oddly shaped one here, there's got a straw in it because it, it was wobbling a bit last night. So I was waiting for the ganache to set. These all need another layer of ganache. Um, these are being collected possibly Friday night. So this is the top tier to go on top of this one. This is that um, fungus among us cake. And this one is the hill um, slash cliff top thing. Um, I'm not sure I'm decorating this one yet, but you can't really go wrong with hills and rocks. Actually, one of my favorite types. They don't, you don't have to do straight edges, clean lines. It's a rock. Just shove it on, airbrush it, and off you go. Oh, well, that's not the most flattering angle. I've just stopped for dinner, partially burnt chips. Oh my God. Have you noticed how choppy these clips are? See, there's another one. The pauses and another one. It clips very quickly between me speaking. And I have to do that because as I'm speaking to you now, I get tongue tied. I have to stop mid sentence. I just did it again. I've just looked, I just look at the camera for two minutes just like this. Trying to think of what to say or trying to get the words to come out the way that they sound in my head. And as odd as this sounds, that is um, a result of this job. So when I was younger, obviously, oh, mm. nearly not my certificate off. Um, so when I was younger, I had, obviously you were at school and you're socializing and speaking to people every day at school and then you get a job. I have had way more jobs than I should have. That's how I figured out I could only do this job. I have to be my own boss. It's nothing to do with authority and taking orders. It's the nine to five, very repetitive work. So when I was younger, I worked um, on, I had a Saturday job in a pet shop, love that. I was the manager of a reptile center during the week. I did bar work at night. Every one of those jobs required me to speak to people 24 seven. Every customer that come in, you're serving them, speaking to them, helping them. Then I did a, then I left there and did a bit of cleaning. I've done market research that does require to speak to everybody and complete strangers on the street, which often tell you to F off. Yeah, I'm looking at you. I won't mind, but they got a free voucher if they answered a couple of questions. My auntie used to do market research. It is a little tip for you. If you look like you're trying to avoid the market researcher, she's gonna target you even more. I have sewn slippers. I have folded boxes. I have done Avon. I have done several other jobs I can't really think of right now. But then I settled on cake because I was my own boss. I decided my hours. I decided what work I took on. And Adam never understands and he says, this is so repetitive. You, you say that you can't do routine, I can't do a nine to five job. I get so bored, sick of waking up just to do the same job every day. And he can't understand why this is any different because he's like, you're always baking and you're always decorating. But I'm not baking every day. I'm only baking one day of the week. I'm only decorating two days of the week. It would be different if I got up and it was baking every single day. That's repetitive. But every order, I try to make every order different so it doesn't get as boring. But the problem with working at home is this. Just listen. Apart from a bit of cheesy music on the radio, it's silent all day, every day, until the kids get in. And even then, I can't really speak to them because I'm still working and they're off playing on their iPads and what have you. So I'm pretty much mute all day and I speak to nobody and that's how it's been since I've done this as a full-time job which has been a long time so I've gone from working in retail where you're speaking to people 24 7 to just being completely silent all day and after years and years and years I found I can't even string a sentence together without getting tongue-tied or trying to think what I'm going to say next or having to stop, especially as you can see these clips clipped again because I just stop and go, 
trying to think of what's coming next to make sure that I don't stumble on my words and get it wrong. So hopefully, the more that I vlog, if I can, the more I'll be able to actually speak like a normal person. And I always come out with those really stupid statements. You know, when you're just socially awkward, you become socially awkward and people say things to you and you say something back and you go, why did I say that? An example is always like floating around on Facebook where a waiter comes and brings your meal and he says, enjoy your meal and you go, you too. He's not eating a meal, just being awkward. And you know when it's come out, you're just like, so anyway, yeah. I apologise for all these little clippy tiny little bits in between every little bit of speech but you're gonna have to put up with it for a little bit longer until my brain can function again. You can just see it on people's faces when you they're used to speaking, they're just normal people and you try to, you're, you're in a conversation and you're talking about something and then your brain starts tripping you up and your mouth, you just get tongue tied. And you can see them looking at you like, come on, speak. What are you trying to say to me? And the more you try to fix it, the more you trip up. So yes, just bear in mind, if you work from home or you work for yourself, it can be very, very quiet. Morning guys, it's half past seven in the morning. I've got to be really quick because this one's going just after the school run and I've got to take Abby to school. Um, just wanted to quickly show it you finished. So, mum, 21 again. It's now all painted and ready to go. I always get asked about these horses. Every time I post a carousel, I get asked about these horses. Um, this is a prototype mold, which means I'm the only one with the mold. Um, you can get other moulds where the horse goes straight onto the stick all in one piece um, but unfortunately this specific one where the horse face is right um, isn't available at the moment. And next to it is the Grocery Gang Fungus Among Us one finished. So that's two down and one to go. I actually really fell in love with these Grocery Gang. I like them a lot more than Shopkins. And they've all got names. I think this one's called um, Icky Drumstick. Uh, obviously, Rotten Egg. Horrid Hamburger. Rough Toilet Paper. <laughs> I'm not sure the names of these ones because these are the Fungus Among Us um, creatures. But this one's going tonight. This one's going this morning. And I've got one in the kitchen to get finished for tonight as well. Right, that's the school run done. Just waiting for the carousel cake to be collected. Um, when I know that there's a collection happening, I literally just sit here and have to wait because um, if I start working on another cake you can guarantee the doorbell will go when you're concentrating on something that you can't leave like you'll be holding a whole piece of icing just about to put it on a cake and the doorbell goes or you'll be right in the middle of a model um, so that's what I'm doing right now I'm in the middle of a model this is the topless girl on top of a mountain cake I will show you whereabouts I'm up to that in a minute but I worked on that last night um, Adam tried to get me to sit down at 7 o'clock last night he said why don't you work till 7 and then we'll sit down and watch some telly <laughs> I haven't watched telly since last week. I don't even know if I watched TV last week. But the cake is being collected today, so it'll probably be around about after six o'clock. But when I know that the deadline is on the same day, I like to know that it's gonna be finished. I do not like working till 5.55 and I just put in the last touch on and the doorbell goes. That's just a nightmare for me because I've got no time to take pictures, no time to box it and invoice it properly. So I like to try and get them done as head of time as I can but I could so do with the shower look at the state of my hair it's just on the back of my head like hair is but it's greasy 
but I just didn't have a time for a shower last night because I was doing the model and then I had to do some emails. Now you know, Monday's admin day, but you can't leave people a week waiting for an email because they're like, did you get my email? So you have to reply to those. So I spent most of the night just catching up with the emails and replies. Adam fell asleep on the couch snoring his head off like he usually does. So hopefully I can get this cake finished, boxed, they'll both be collected, I can have a shower and maybe I'll get to watch a bit of Netflix. Tomorrow we have tickets to go to um, the Royal Lancashire show it's called. We went last year. I think a family ticket is about £27. It's just like an agricultural show. We don't come from a farming background, despite my shirt. It's just a day out, um, they have like a little fair on, they have um, some shows on, whether that be BMX or motorbikes or cows or horses, dogs. They have lots of stalls, like food stalls, craft stalls. So it just gets you out the house and something to do. And then Sunday we have a christening to go to. And no, I didn't make the cake because I was already fully booked this week. Right, I'll show you this topless girl. Here she is, topless and headless. Um, so this is what she currently looks like. I had to remake her legs twice and her shorts twice. Um, naked figures are actually quite hard because you have to smooth all the joints of the skin. But she's got her little trainers on. But I've got to censor those. Um, I did, I shot a little tutorial because um, I got asked on the last vlog when I did a um, walking dead kick how to shade a rock. Um, now this is a different type of rock, it's like the desert sandy sort of American rock, but I did shoot a little um, quick tutorial on that. So once that carousel is gone, I'm gonna make her head and her hair and the dog and some American bits and pieces, the name and the age, and then hopefully this one will be done.
I was going to sign the vlog off yesterday and I forgot. Yeah, so the Royal Lancashire Show, um, it was a lot better last year. They had like um, bouncy castles and like a fair on for the kids, but there weren't any of that this time. They did have a children's village, which was just literally like a couple of craft tables set up, but it wasn't really as good. It's good if you're going for the first time. I'd definitely at least do it once. But a lot of the shows um, were repeated, so we'd already seen like Gun Dogs before and some BMX shows before. So they are, a lot of them were repeated. So I would probably give it a 6 out of 10. 7 if we'd have been for the first time, but 6 because last year's was better. They had quite a few um, food stalls this time. Um, we went past loads that were selling giant flapjacks and brownies. Um, but then I came across a cake stall and I'm all for like supporting other cake people thought I'd get myself a cupcake But as I was approaching the table I noticed the people in front of me with a dog and they were struggling with it So as I looked down the tablecloth on the front didn't quite reach the floor and they had a tray of cupcakes all decorated They must have been chocolate orange because they had one of those Terry chocolate orange slices on the top I mean they were in a tray uncovered right on the floor So I wouldn't suggest doing that if you was doing any sort of fair cover them up But they must have from the other end of the table pushed some of the stuff under the table And it had pushed the tray of cupcakes out just slightly So obviously the tablecloth didn't reach the floor and they were pushed out just a little bit and the people's dog in front of us It nabbed one of the terrace chocolate orange slices off the first cupcake But then the rest of the cupcakes in that row were just smeared where it went With its tongue all across the top of the cupcakes. I didn't quite fancy one after that I mean, I feel sorry for the people they've lost a whole tray of cupcakes that they can't sell but it was funny anyway so i'm going to end the vlog here got a busy day today but i will see you in the next one bye guys